border of West Pokot and Elgeo Marakwet counties has hit 15, with 28 people still unaccounted for. According to Rift Valley Regional Coordinator George Natembea, two bodies were recovered on Tuesday, including a fetus following such operation. Victims of the landslides are staring at a humanitarian crisis. It was the national and county government step up efforts to help those who have been displaced. KTN's Elvis Koske now reports from the North Rifts. The search operation at Chesogon area has been made difficult because of high water levels, muddy and hilly terrain, as well as heavy rainfall that continues to pound the area. According to Rift Valley Regional Commissioner George Natembea, two bodies were recovered on Wednesday, as well as fetus during a search operation. And also to make a fetus. A multi-agency team that includes officers from the National Disaster Operations Center, Elgeo Marakwet and West Pokot County Governments and Kenya Red Cross have been conducting the search for missing persons. So far, the number of uh, people who are reported to have been swept away by the floods are about 28. Only four bodies have been recovered in full. But the rest, we are collecting uh, different body parts uh, across uh, the section which was uh, carried away by the floods. And we want to really appreciate uh, well wishers. On Saturday, residents were buried alive up to 10 feet deep and huge rocks and property worth millions of shillings destroyed in the night of horror at Chesokon and Kipchumo villages. Devolution Cabinet Secretary Eugene Omalwa flagged of food consignment destined for the last late victims. Uh, fortified foods, particularly for the young kids, the elderly, and uh, this food we are looking at 550 bags per sub-county to start with, apart from the oil, and we will be escalating uh, these uh, support as the situation escalates. So we want to assure all affected that uh, in spite of the logistics uh, challenges, because some areas Flooding has already affected bridges. Bridges have been washed away. County governments have also set up a fund in which every county will contribute 200,000 shillings to support counties that are experiencing floods and landslides. I pray for a quick recovery for those who are injured. We are appealing to donors and Kenyans of goodwill to stand with the people displaced by the calamity by providing food, shelter, and other support. The victims now want President Uhuru Kenyatta to acknowledge that there is still a dire humanitarian crisis that needs quick intervention from the national government. Elvis Kosgei, KT News, Elgiomara County.